the second prayer of the day, the dhuhr just after midday, then you have the third one late afternoon, then you have the fourth one at sunset, just after sunset, and you have the fifth one a little bit after that when the sky is dark. The timing of all of this is unique. My brothers, my sisters, don't miss your prayer. No matter what, pray. If you happen to be in a condition where you cannot stand, you're allowed to sit. If you cannot sit, you're allowed to lie down and fulfill your prayer. If you happen to be in a condition where you cannot use water to wash yourself, you're allowed to do what is known as tayammum. You can read about it. You can learn about it. It is to cleanse yourself without water because you are unable for a valid reason to use that particular water. From all of this, we get to learn that Allah Almighty has really made things easy for us, very easy for us. He wants us to get it done, whether we like it or not, subhanAllah. Well, we would end up liking it anyway because we're believers, we should be liking it. But if you get it done, what I mean by like it or not is whether it's easy or difficult, get it done, you will have a reward. Think for a moment, the blessing of it comes back to you over time. If you have a rock, even a rock, when there is a droplet of water that is dropping on one spot every single day, throughout the day and night, you will find as hard as that rock is, there will be a hole in the rock and the erosion will cause the hole in a solid rock just because of a droplet of water that kept coming. So this consistency and persistency is something we need to learn. When you are praying, people say, ah, I started praying, but I don't see the benefit. Uh -uh. Wait, hang on, my brothers, my sisters, that's not how it is. Here it goes. You start praying and holistically your life begins to change. Over time, you become a totally different person. You become changed, beautiful, softened. Your character develops. You start caring for each other. Those who swear you, you don't swear them back. You have a relationship with your maker. You smile because you know Allah accepted you to fulfill prayers. That's the most beautiful thing ever. When Allah loves you, he makes it easy for you to do the right things. That's a sign of the love of Allah. May Allah love all of us. And who does Allah love? Those who try, those who make an effort, those who are determined, those who are really focused and they continue asking the Almighty for guidance and they continue to work towards it. Hence, in the five daily prayer, there is something that we do and something we say that's amazing. In the surah that we have to read, the little portion of the Quran, we say, guide us to the straight path. Oh, our Lord, guide us to the straight path. Guide us to the straight path. And we continue with this supplication. We repeat it so many times. If you ask the Almighty genuinely to guide you to the straight path, oh, my maker, guide me to the path, the straight path, the path of those whom you have favored, not the path of those who are astray or those who have earned your anger or those who are astray. We want to be guided to the straight path of our maker. Whoever made us, guide us towards worshiping you alone and take us to paradise. And if you ask the Almighty genuinely, sincerely to guide you, He will open the doors of guidance. If you really would like to improve, Allah will make it easy for you to improve. Then a sign of His love is when He has accepted you to do the beautiful things. What is compulsory on you, you start doing it and it becomes easier and easier as time passes. You become more focused, more dedicated, sign of the love of Allah. But I want to add something. Many times it's a struggle for many people throughout their lives. As they grow older, it still is a struggle. I'm struggling with my five daily prayers. I'm struggling sometimes four, sometimes three, sometimes I hit five, jackpot, mashallah. My brothers and sisters, remember, if you're struggling and you make an effort and you push yourself, you get a multiplied reward you will get a multiplied reward. We are human beings. We have so many things that actually bring us down, so many things that weigh on us. We have a lot of responsibility and distraction and so much that happens around us as human beings. Allah says, when you push yourself for the sake of Allah, Allah will have mercy on you. You push yourself because Allah has only made it compulsory for you knowing that the benefit that will return to you in this world
to begin with. And then the next is tremendous. When you see it, you will really be thankful to Allah Almighty for having guided you towards the five daily prayers. So I know so many people say, it's tough, it's really difficult, I'm trying, I live in a time zone, I go to work, I have uh, examinations, I have school. My brothers and sisters, do your best and make sure that you pray. I want to end by telling you the bonus. When you're on a journey, Allah Almighty has issued rulings where the shortening of a prayer is dictated and even combining some of the prayers due to our inability of making those prayers or the difficulty of the journey and so on, according to many schools of thought. And you know what? That is dictated by the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So if you are permitted to shorten and combine due to journey because I couldn't, it goes to show, do it however you have to do it, make sure it is done and ask the scholars and ensure that you made use of whatever Allah Almighty has blessed you with. May Allah grant us all goodness and I pray we can continue post Ramadan. Aqulu qawli hadha wa alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa